always. Because we want to do things our way, right? We want them to so, I gotta do it my way, my way, my way. That French sniper song, you know, my way, right? I did it my way. Anyway, stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Now, what is idolatry? That is when we worship idols, right? And that could be anything. It may not just necessarily be, you know, figures or statues. It could be money. It could be your own family. It could be your own children. Something that becomes much more important than God Himself. And this is hard to swallow at first because we tend to think, well, we're good people, but yet we always put everything else above God, and therefore we become idolaters. So that can be considered more important than God. This is not what I say, this is what the scriptures say. It says, Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being in. That means that because we, have rejected this truth. We have rejected his principles. We have rejected what he desires for us and the way that we should walk on this earth. Now what does he do? He rejects us. That's why we cannot come to God unless we repent of our sins. We cannot come to God unless we recognize what we have done wrong. We cannot come to God unless we humble ourselves and God Please forgive me, I've made a mistake and I've sinned against you, I've sinned against my family, and now my family is paying for my own sins. Right? So, this is the truth. This is why we have to understand these things, because you know what? To obey is very easy. Right? But it is easier to step into all these problems, because we tend to lean in what? In our own understanding. And all we have to do is say, God, what do you want me to do? It requires for us to put ourselves aside and to let him be the one to guide us in right? So rebellion is like witchcraft, okay? So what is witchcraft then? 